It's pretty, uh, I didn't get to talk to you on Saturday, so what was that moment like when you we got the call? Man, it was crazy to say the least. Just hearing my name call, you know, I play as a childhood dream. You always, you know, since I was like eight years old, we're just kind of waiting on this day. So, you know, for it to come full circle was just a blessing, man. My whole, all my family and friends was around me. So, you know, just being surrounded by all that love, you know, it just really put everything in perspective for me. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely blessed to be here. We're going to get to work for sure. Where are they, where are they getting? What kind of player are they trying to stay? Uh, somebody that's willing to come in from day one, you know, uh, a hard hat guy come in and do the work every single day, making corrections, you know, cleaning up footwork and things like that. Just, uh, you know, learning the defense and stuff and just getting everybody ready. Y'all been DBU for quite some time, man. What was it like playing there and then having that translate to what you now do in the NFL? You saying at Houston? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Just uh, priding ourselves on uh, being able to make plays in the back end. You know, we mess up, then, you know, that shows up on the scoreboard. So, you know, just trying to be as detailed and as polished as possible. That's kind of what Coach Belkin, uh, Coach Early, Coach Early, and uh, Coach Rowe, all them preached at Houston. So you know, just uh, being able to transition there, I talked to coaches a couple couple times. You know, they seem like some real uh, detailed, detailed guys. So I feel like we can take it take it very far. Yes, sir. Coach Devlin seems like someone that you can just you know grab a beer with, but also you know hang out with on the football Most field and really get into it. What's your first thought process when you when you meet Brian Dable and, and just your general, I guess, thought about him? Yes, sir. Uh, good people. Very. Uh, Intense, but he's relaxed at the same time. You know, he just, you can tell off rip, he wants the best for all of his players. And I feel like he's a great guy. He's going to put us in a lot of position to make plays this year. Come here, Matt. Matt, you mentioned Gio. We call you Gio, or is it Javarius? G, Javarius. I didn't, I didn't got called everything. Deuce, Gio, Javarius. You know, just however you come. What's Deuce for? This has my number, been my number for a little minute. Yes, sir. What's it like just being out here? Like just just feeling out the yeah. out the vibe still, or you just Man. Playing the game plan in your head of what it you was. want to accomplish. It was just, it was just crazy. Just you know, first day, like I said, you dream of this moment for so long, and then it just hit you. Like we first day, we, me, uh, Banks and uh, Trey Hawkins, we all running out to the field, just like man, like it's time. Like we really here, you know. So just trying to soak everything in, but at the same time, you know, like everything so fresh, we don't know nothing that. So it's just kind of like all over the place. But first day was definitely a blessing, you know. Got in, got some good work together, you know. So kind of just getting acclimated to everything, but it's 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 a blessing, man. That's all I can really say. You're still again, you're getting acclimated to it, but you, you mentioned you know, Deontay, you mentioned Trey. Just talk yeah. about how you want you want to be brothers here, right? You want to go through this together so what's that what's that like trying to build that relationship uh, with your team? you know we already kind of you know got a, got a good relationship me and trey actually train train together combine prep and stuff like that and uh down in fort lauderdale so you know we kind of been knowing each other over the past months and you know tay he just you know one of those guys you can just walk in day one he's just good vibes good people so you know there's no uh no egos or nothing already you know you can just tell you around good people for sure Special teams coordinator Thomas Buchanan. He's son is yeah. at Houston. Did you know him at all before the pre-draft process? I had some, I had some people definitely tell me he was up here. He came came over there after practice and talked to me. Just let me know everything. But yeah, his son uh, Trent, one of our, one of our tight ends at Houston, definitely good people too. But yeah, coach came over there, rapped to me, told me uh, he played he played safety too at Houston. So you know, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be talking to him a lot. Get your hands on some film of uh, most his playing day, see most what he, <laughs> See what he was talking about. What kind of experience you have in college on specials? Uh, starting off, I played a lot of uh, kickoff and punt and then uh, PBR as well, and it just kind of kept on with those things. So, you know, definitely got some role. I think I'll be able to play every, every special teams role, whatever they need me to do.